how you train with you and your family. It, it's almost like being in a professional fight as it is. But now, see, with this fight coming up this week, the playoffs coming up just a few, two short months in August, do you guys kind of tune it down a little bit just to give yourself some time more to recover, or you just keep going at the same pace? Uh, we keep going at the same pace. So, um, um, yeah, I'm going to slow down until probably this week. Um, we keep going the whole time, and, um, yeah, I just keep training hard. Sounds good, man. It's good luck this week. Thank you. There is Breeze with the MMA. Breeze. I uh, wanted to ask, you know, you, you had your opponents, your uh, next opponent's very experienced in Gleison T. Bow. What do you make of his skill set and where do you see this fight going? Do you see it staying up on the feet? Do you see a little bit of wrestling? Um, my opponent is Nikolai. Uh, I'm not fighting T. Gleison. But, um, yeah, my opponent's a kickboxer, and um, that's pretty much all I know about him. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take him out the same way I do everybody, and um, put the pace on him. And um, wherever the fight goes, I'm gonna finish him. Thank you. Hey Ray, this is Drew at FightWeek.com. What is it? How does it feel? And does it? Does it change any of your game plan knowing that you're at the top of the standings? Obviously, Rory's up there too, but having that six points going into that second bout. Um, my plan changes. There's no changes to the plan. I, I can go out there and get the six points and stay at the top and be number one in, into the, the playoffs. Thanks and good luck. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hello? You hear me? Yes. Yeah, this is Ronald E. Smith from Getting Real. Ray, how you doing? How's it going? I can't complain, man. For, just just talking about this fight, how, how has training been for you? From you? Has, have you had to change anything up to prepare for this fight? No, I, didn't, um, I haven't changed anything from my last fight. Um, I still do the same old things. And yeah, I'm just ready. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Hey, Ray, this is Tanai from MMA Island. Um, You won the championship in 2019. What would it mean if you could win it again in 2021? Um, I'm going to win them again. And, um, it's just, on, it's just uh, being the champion, you got to come back and um, repeat it. That's how you know that you're an actual champion to defend the title. And, um, yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm here to do and that's what I'm going to do. And this is your second bubble experience with the PFL in Atlantic City. How's it been for you? And how does it compare the first time to the second? Well, any of these bubbles is pretty crappy. Um, I really don't like it. Um, but all in all, everything's been going well. PFL treats us good. They get us whatever we need. And um, um, I'm really happy. Thank you, Ray. Good luck on Thursday. Thank you. Hey there, Ray. Appreciate you making some time. Hey, how's it going? Thank you. Oh, I'm doing good, man. I was just curious because on your Instagram, I'm seeing that the hashtag Lion of Judah seems like a pretty prevalent theme there. What's the importance of that to you and the significance of the Lion of Judah phrase? Uh, the Lion of Judah means this, this Jesus, his lineage, and um, I'm a strong believer in Christ. And um, Yeah, I get all my power from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and uh, that's the whole story. The Lion is Jesus, and um, that's what I represent. Appreciate the insights, man. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Alger? Hey, Ray, this is Alger Warner from the Fight Dialogue. So my question for you is, what's your routine day-to-day in the bubble? Like, like what's, what's your day-to-day routine? Well, I still, um, I'm on Hawaii time, so it's like 7 o'clock in the morning right now, and I stay on that time. So I stay up to like... Probably like six o'clock in the morning, go sleep, and get up around two, three o'clock. So I just stay on Hawaii time, and I I train. I usually train, and yeah. Thank you, and good luck to you on Thursday. Thank you, Carlos. 
Hello, Mr. Cooper. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Um, Obviously, you've never fought in the UFC, and with the UFC probably being the biggest company for MMA, would you ever like to go over there and fight for them? Uh, I don't know yet. Um, things may happen, but um, I'm fine where I'm at. Um, people treat me good, and I don't know. We'll see, but um, right now I'm focused on this fight. I'm not thinking of any other company. I'm thinking of just this fight and uh, getting to the championship and uh, defending my title. Good luck on Thursday. Thank you. Darnell Giovanni, Mystic Black MMA here. Ray, how you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. For people who may have not watched you in the PFL, what do they get out of watching Ray Cooper fight in that cage? Oh, they get an exciting fight and um, one finish. I'm not always going there to finish. Um, most of my fights is finishes. I think I only went through the decision twice. And um, Yeah, it's an exciting fight. I know I don't boast myself as an exciting fighter, but... Um, when I get in there, I throw hands and people go down. And for somebody who's very intense, intense inside that cage, how do you keep so calm outside the the cage? Uh, I don't know. It's just a just a switch that I can turn on, and um, when it's time to compete, it's time to compete. And I did it from when I was young, and um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I can't explain it. Hey, it's hey, Reed. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, man. I thought Shed Breeze. No, you're good. Don't worry about it. Um, hey, Ray, it's Curtis Calhoun with uh, Low Kick MMA. My uh, question for you is, uh, how important is it for you to represent Hawaii? And uh, tell us about how big the sport has become on the islands, especially over the past few years. Um, it's real big in Hawaii. Um, fighting back in the day was it was real big. And probably in the 90s, it was big. But um, representing Hawaii is a good thing. Um, for um, Just for the, the young kids that um, grew up wrestling, um, they don't have that much down there. Or well, down, like, uh, I mean, like, um, exposure-wise, they don't have that many exposures. So it's good to see if the kids can see me doing this and uh, making it big like this. They get, they get opportunities. And, uh, yeah, it's real big for... My, the wrestling community, actually, uh, I really want to start something for the kids to get there, get out there and wrestle and um, show everybody that Hawaii get the, one of the best wrestling in the world. Appreciate the time, Ray. Thanks. Thank you. Breeze. Hey, it's Breeze with the MMA Breeze. I was just wondering, did your brothers join you in the bubble? And uh, who do you have working with you there for this uh, this fight? Yeah, I have my, my dad and my two brothers, Blake and uh, McCall. Right on. Thanks so much. All right. Any more questions for Ray? Dan, uh, Daniel, please. This is Daniel from KGMIQ. Ray, it looks like you and uh, Rory are on a collision course in the playoffs. Have you watched any of his uh, fights at all, or do you look forward to having the chance to fight him? Yeah, I look forward to fighting him. Um, I watched his fights all over his career, and um, yeah, it seems like we're gonna um, we're gonna fight. Maybe in the playoffs, maybe in the championships. Um, it doesn't matter. Whenever we fight, I'm gonna I'm gonna take him out too. This is my division, and I'm the king in this division. 